did put a little bit of makeup on my face before I said hi to you guys this morning, but it's the only thing I've done, um, only because I fell asleep with makeup on my face, and so it was a little bit black around here, you know? So um, instead of washing my face, I actually just put makeup back on top of my face because I'm gonna take a shower later. This is how I run my life. Hey guys, good morning, hope you're doing great. I'm just kind of waking up, so I thought I would bring you guys along with me for a little bit just to sort of see how my morning is going and just how much of a routine I don't have. <laughs> so for all of you who are constantly trying to work on habits and making routines and whatever, I'm not discouraging you. I totally approve of doing those things. I try to do them, but I live my life by the way of the wind. I woke up this morning and I wasn't retired. So next thing to do was to just call. I don't want to call and say, I'm just sort of working from home. Just feeling really like that. So I'm going to put some coffee on. I'm just going to fix this light, light some candles, do little dishes. I might even take a shower. Crazy. I'll take a shower, I think. Probably a good idea. <laughs> All right, let's get some coffee going. Spill water all over your counter when you're pouring your wine and it's water in for the coffee. It happens all the time. No matter the trick is to pour it high, right? Like you can see so you can get a good tilt on it, but I don't know. Sometimes it works. Sometimes not so much. So yeah, if you guys have some stuff to do around the house and you want to sort of follow me around and do what I'm doing, that's great. If not, then you can do other things and just sort of feel inspired by my cleaning. That's right, this is how easy I make it. It needs to scoop from the container into the coffee thing. Does it make a mess sometimes? Yeah, but do you know what's even worse is having to pull the entire container out and then having to do it. And I don't know what it is about me, but I just, I can't do that. It seems like it would make more sense, but that's how coffee ends up getting everywhere. Not exactly sure if you guys can see, but this is just coffee stain. The coffee maker leaks a little bit, so when I see that, I just give it a little spray down and a wipey wipe. And to be honest, it doesn't happen every day. This just happened to look really fresh. That's why I'm doing it. But yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I don't check this every day. So this is a few days of, you know, piling up. This is obviously not the accurate time. It is not. I keep turning the coffee maker on and off. It's not 2.17 p.m. It is almost 11 a.m. Okay, I think I've got my mess cleaned up here from all my water. Okay, so this is happening right now. We're gonna do this. forgot to mention, I'm going to just take the sound out and I'm going to put some nice music on over top because I know the splashing and all of that can be really loud. And since I'm not doing this for an ASMR purpose, I'm a little rough, so you're not going to want to hear it. Okay. So if you have a few dishes, you can do them. Now, if you have a sink that's overflowing, do not let it, do not let it stress you out. It's fine. The only thing I suggest is if you have stuff in your sink, Pull out your garbage can, wherever it is, and just start taking all the garbage out and put that in. Food, recyclables, anything that is not to stay in your house that's in the sink goes in the garbage. We're not working on separating if it's like that, okay? If you just have a sink full of dishes and there's no extra stuff in there, then you don't have to do all of them all at once. Just pick something, like just do a couple of mugs, a couple of... Um, plates and a couple of forks and knives. I know that even that is a huge task for a lot of us. So do what you can because every little bit counts and who doesn't like to have a clean coffee mug and a plate once in a while, okay?
So the sink is clean. I'm not wiping it down or shining it. I don't care. It's fine. But I will finish wiping up this counter right here and then I will get my coffee ready. along the way. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I am already tired. Okay, I'm going to put this away. Just like, oh, it's hard when it's always just overcast and stuff. Oh, this is what I'm using. I have to replace the bulb above the stove. Oh, ha, I didn't have to replace it. I just had to give it a little wiggle. Even better. This one. sugar. I just have it right here so I can just put it right in my cup. Simple. Right in. Oh shoot. Coffee or liquor. Story of my life. Story of my life. Also, if you've just made your coffee or tea or whatever warm drink you have, if you drink warm beverages, don't forget to keep yourself hydrated with water. So I have this cup. It's like a little thermosy, so it stays nice and cold on the inside, so I always keep my water here. This is silicone. Sorry. Well, this too, but you can, you can actually boil this. But this is silicone as well, so I can just boil this and it just becomes sanitized. So I do that every couple of days because Silicone can get kind of nasty. When I say every couple of days, I mean like once a week. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, what? That's disgusting. It's my life. Does anybody else just walk around saying random things all day that make sense for them and what they're doing in that moment? Or is that just me? It's shiny and I can always see it. That's that. <clears throat> I have my coffee. Everything is so far handled. I think I need to take like a five minute break to catch up on Outlander for just a few minutes. Yeah. My oven is ready. I normally have a parchment paper in here ready to go, but I was washing this the other day, so. And these are just like these little um, pita things. They're feta and spinach. Uh, sorry, feta, feta and spinach, sort of rolled together in like a filo dough. So I like to have those. I do like making them from scratch. We do do that, but it's not really something I want to do during a weekday just to have like lunch. It's sort of kind of a lot of work. Actually, wrong. That was recycling. Okay guys, I decided that while I have my lunch heating in the oven, warming up, cooking, whatever it's doing, I'm gonna jump in the shower real quick. I'm not gonna wash my hair. I'm not even gonna wash my second applied makeup off my face because I'm feeling that lazy, but I'm just feeling a little like, sometimes you just need a two minute shakedown. You know, you just gotta go in, just soap her down for two minutes and get out and carry on with your day. So if you can manage getting into the shower or just sitting in the tub, two minutes, turn the water on, wipe down some areas, great. If not, I will be right back. Guys, I'm finally going to make the bed. It is currently, I think it's 12.52 or 12.53, so 10 to one in the afternoon, because the dogs finally woke up. Yes, the queen and the vice queen were sleeping on here. So I'm gonna take off that orange blanket and I'm gonna just put a fresh pink blanket on, because um, I did do the sheets earlier this week, but. They got a bit wet, so that blanket got a little bit because that's the one that's on top when they're here. So just go around fixing the edges of your um, fitted sheet. Okay, so if you guys have a fitted sheet, work on that. Let's start making sure your ends are tucked in and that everything is nicely cornered so you don't have stuff flipping up like that because that's so annoying when you sleep when that comes up. Well, at least, at least it is for me. It's like a sensory thing. Oh man, it makes me crazy. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot sleep on a plain mattress with no sheet on it. The feeling is awful, awful. It's wrong. So 
just stack your pillows up however you do. This is gonna be your laundry. Anything that needs charging, take those devices, whatever you have, get them charging if you need them for the evening, for, you know, if you're listening to any sort of sleep stuff, sleep music, sleep meditation, or podcasts, or anything like that. This is actually really not good. We have a ball. Okay, so there's crumbs in this bed. So we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do this whole thing. I don't even know what happened here, guys. I'm sorry. I know. I totally said, guys, let's go make our bed. And here I am changing the sheets. Just wait for me. I'll catch up in two seconds, okay? stack my pillows again. I know I've pretty much changed all my sheets, but now I'm being a brat. I'm being rebellious. I'm being a 16 year old that's refusing to lift a finger and be lazy. I will not change my pillowcases. Why? That means I have to do one more thing. Forget it. Let me take this downstairs. Oh God. Maybe I'll just tuck it right over. Woo! Oh, thank God I did not be here. Okay, so just spread your blanket out, whatever you use. I just use, um, this is like a coverlet, like a little quilt. I don't use uh, duvet covers or anything like that. It's too much, too much. Too much for me. My bandwidth does not appreciate it. Okay, I think I'm looking for these. I think this is done, guys. I think we're good. I hope. Oh. Just I'm tired now. Just oh. okay. It's hard. I know I already complained about this once, but man, the snow sunshine. The snow sunshine business is not good business. This is bad business for the brain. I do. I talk to myself, I make funny voices, I make funny like little things like this, little conversations with myself. Not sure if I should tell my doctor about it, probably not. Okay. And we're good. We have an extra little fleecy blanket. If it gets cool, of course it's going to get cool. That's Canada. What are we talking about? We live in the Ice Pole. Ice. We live in the North Pole and we live in ice igloos. I mean, what else would igloos be made out of other than ice and snow? Just kidding, we don't live in igloos, but boy, oh boy, there are some people who believe it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'm finished up. If you're wondering what that is, it's just an air filter. I have a few of them throughout my home. Uh, this one always stays in here in the bedroom because of the dogs. So throughout the day, I keep it on all the time. At night, I turn it off. I actually don't like the sound of white noise when I sleep. I can't sleep if I hear it. I find it a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, so that's what that is. So if you don't have an air filter and you're finding that you are really kind of smelling a lot of wet dog smell this time of year, they are popular for it. That really, really helps alleviate the odor from that big time. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I really hope that you were able to get something done, whatever it is, no matter how small or how big, you did great. Don't look at it as, look how much more I have left to do. Look at it as, look how much I got done. That's what you need to celebrate. Minor little victories, let that motivate you to do something else. Wishing you all a wonderful day. Mm -hmm. Doodaloo.